I know so many of you guys already know and love Margaret so much. <laughs> but for any of you guys that don't know Margaret Carey, she is a Disney legend, the real life Tinkerbell. And I'm honored to have the opportunity to reintroduce you to her. And I say reintroduce because if you haven't seen Margaret in the flesh, you've definitely seen her as one of Disney's most iconic characters. And uh, she was the live action reference model for Tinkerbell mm -hmm. in Disney's Peter Pan in 1953. 1952? Two. 1952. <laughs> that is a lovely introduction. I love it. Uh, I'm here with this sweet lady and the whole crew, and we are doing exciting things. And so they uh, were giving me the chance, the opportunity to tell you about my exciting book. So if you don't want, know me, get the book. <laughs> but I, there's something you don't know about my book. What don't I know yet? Because I haven't read it yet. I'm just about to start it, and I'm so excited. Because I'm an entertainer. I have been working since I'm four years old. As a matter of fact, the other day I sat down, I took a few minutes off, turned on the television to see what Turner Classic Movies were going to do. Oh, yeah? And I'm looking at me. I'm <laughs> looking at me as a four-year-old in a movie called Midsummer Night's Dream at Warner Brothers. I, I, oh my you, God. Don't, you don't understand what a feeling that gives you. I mean, I do the Andy Griffith show, so I see me on there, the Lone Ranger, the Three Stooges, and all the rest. I, all of those, but there I am at the four-year-old. Wow. But <laughs> even crazy. at that moment, I'm entertaining, and I just want to explain that my book that's called Tinkerbell Talks. Tinkerbell Talks. If you remember, in Disney's movie, she didn't say a word, and that was a, a real... Um, puzzler to start with, how we were going to tell people that fabulous Mark Davis and I, uh, he dragged me along, cast me as a part, how we were going to tell her story mm. if indeed she didn't talk. So you used all kinds of pantomime and different things. I assume that all of you have seen this movie. <laughs> I mean, if they're watching this video, I'd be shocked. <laughs> well, you just <laughs> never haven't. know. So if, well, if you, you haven't, haven't, go get it. We right? can't be friends unless you watch Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was just quickly saying about my book was I have 160 pictures in it, some of them quite rare from Disney archives. Oh, that's so cool. But I wanted to entertain. And all my chapters in the book, there's not one that's over eight pages. One of them is one page. Oh, wow. And every chapter has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So you can pick it up, read it, put it down. Perfect. You don't have to start from the, And it's just great fun of being a child actor in our gang comedies uh, with uh, Elizabeth Taylor doubling her in National Velvet, oh, wow. uh, all, working with the teachers and the other kids, um, working with um, Bobby Driscoll, it, it just <laughs> fangirling. <laughs> it, no, it it it's just that kind of a book, so it it's an entertainment, or or I wouldn't have done it. I and it's the done. story of your life, right? It's the story of your career. Yeah, I look at it, and I have thirty-one stories left over. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> well, and I was gonna say, not only are you an actress and a dancer, but you're a voice actor. And you played the red-headed mermaid. I she was did. she was the original Disney red-headed mermaid before Ariel. A great there great was. grandmother of Ariel. Yes, absolutely, oh, I love that. absolutely. <laughs> I'm the one. To sit, uh, excuse me, my <laughs> wings are falling. We're having more fun here. <laughs> uh, I'm the one who said, "Oh, Peter, we're so happy to see you." That was one line, and the other line was, "We just wanted to drown her." So Boy, good. You, a punchline is gone. But that changed my whole career from being in front of the camera to doing voiceovers. I've done over 600 cartoons oh, my and speak 21 different dialects and work with June Ferre. And she was one of the mermaids yes. for Disney. Yes. She was the dark haired mermaid. And I teased her unmercifully uh, because I thought that what she did for Mulan. The grandmother was the best thing she ever did. And she had the last 
line in the movie. Mulan comes back riding a steed with all the medals. If you remember, she's won all the wars for, for China. <laughs> and June's line was, Betty, you should have brought back a man. <laughs> uh, and she was just, uh, it's, I've been in the business for so long, that's so won wonderful. And this lady, Tracy Hines, is just great. Aww. I could tell you about the whole crew, great people, but this sweet little Miley that I worked with for this, ah, uh, just adorable. <laughs> uh, you know, you didn't have to tell her. She just knows what she's doing. She's a natural. The other thing, when she comes over here, I want to tell her. Join us. Look at this adorable <laughs> Sit right thing. in the middle. I there get I get to work with people. Can you see her? Uh, you can yeah, up. There we go. <laughs> there we'll, you go. Yeah, back up <laughs> just a little bit. Got a girl. <laughs> she is so savvy. It's just amazing. <laughs> and I remember when I started out, I was not. So what you've done today was just marvelous, and I really enjoyed you. I tell you, my Miley, the fun is people walk up to me and didn't know that there was a real person that they could shake hands with and say, hi, I never thought I could meet you. And I look at them and say, I never thought I could meet you either. <laughs> but I will tell you, look at what fun Tracy is having, doing what she does, Disney, etc. Look at what fun I'm having at my age. I'm 90, you know. So I'm having, but you, you are coming along. And I just give you all the blessings in the world you got it. You do it, lady. Okay? <laughs> All right? Yeah. You give hugs? Oh. I want to cry over here. <laughs> oh. Aww. <laughs> it was wonderful I working with it. you, love. You too. And I've known this little one since she was four years old. <laughs> and I knew even back then she was going to be in this video, so. Thanks, Miley. <laughs> and thank you, Margaret. It's been such an honor. My delight. To have By you the guys. way, you might mention, now that I think about it, the title of the book. <laughs> oh, back to the book is Tinkerbell Talks. You, hold you hold that up for me, will you, Miley? There we go. Tinkerbell Talks. And where can they get it? Tinkerbelltalks.com and on a place called Amazon? Amazon. And Amazon. Yep. It's on Amazon. <laughs> I mean, but what isn't? Right? That's true. So. But that's where you get it. And I know that you will have a great, great deal of fun with it. And just enjoy the pictures and enjoy early Hollywood and talk about and uh, read about your favorites. And I think this young lady is just about ready to get a book of her own. <laughs> so we want to say together, faith, trust, and pixie dust. Hey guys, thanks for watching my chat with the absolutely incredible Margaret Carey. Margaret asked me to mention that her voice was a little raspy here because she was at the tail end of a cold when we filmed. She was feeling fine, but it affected the sound of her voice a little bit. And so she wanted me to just let you guys know that all is well and that she's back to health now. And if she sounds a little different here, that's why. Thanks again so much to Margaret for being a part of this special holiday project with all of us. And thanks so much to you guys for watching return to Neverland for Christmas. It means so much to me. If you haven't had the chance to watch it yet, don't worry, it's not too late. Click the link and enjoy the adventure. And stay tuned for new music and videos soon. Let me know in the comments or visit my Patreon to let me know what you want to see next. Happy New Year! Love you guys and I'll see you on the next one!